Oh, I, here we go. <laughs> anyway, I'm bored and I feel like playing more Miles Edgeworth, so let's fucking go. <laughs> I'm vibing for this today. Let's go. Chapter three time. Woo! Episode 3, The Kidnapped Turnabout March 13, 10-11am Where the hell are we? It is time Oh, I'm Mr. Atraf, I'll be following you every moment with my one class Good to hear, now make sure you don't lose sight of me I'm counting on you for backup You can count on me, sir I have to go, the kidnapper is supposed to contact me soon who would have thought that upon my return, I'd be forced into a kidnapping case? That I would be the one who would have to make the ransom drop off. Let's see. I checked that the money is all there, safe inside the suitcase. Designed by Mr. Neighbor, who, which, which I just kind of bought because I felt bad for her. <laughs> All I have to do is wait for the instructions from the kidnapper. Which I'm expecting to transfer to my cell phone anytime soon now. I wonder who else is around. This is a meeting place after all. Oh god, it's a black it's a blue badger! Welcome to a game of land, huh? Hmm? Oh oh, thank you. I'm back on all to you! Oh, I pulled a picture. Nice to meet you. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Excuse me, but were you planning of taking a picture of me? A picture of you? Preposterous! Not in a million years. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, uh, sorry, but I'm not interested. Oh, it's too bad. Well, have a good day. Hello? Who are you? You're not in arrest a mano? It sounds like the kidnapper is using some sort of voice alteration device. A very bad and broken one. I'm his representative, Miles Edgeworth. Are you a cop? No, I'm a prosecutor. Same thing! I know what you're wondering, and yes, I have what for some money with me. I see! A good place for the money with you to have this stadium! <laughs> so this person tends to see if I'm being followed, huh? Please, that have come through. I really need you to come through for me this one time. Atra speaking. Max, come to the haunted house. And just how long do you tend to have me wander around for? That's for me to decide. You don't have much of a choice, my friend. I suppose not. How did the god have to stoop so low? I've arrived. Go inside. Nice place. <laughs> what a dismal place. Where's it? Come through the stars! Am I being watched from somewhere? Leave 
save him money and go now. Ugh, fine. Be that way, bitch. I didn't want to date you. I didn't want to date you anyway. I already have Mr. White. I mean, what? I was hoping for an exchange, but maybe I should do as they say for now and not push it. I couldn't even catch a glimpse of a kidnapper. First, I should keep perhaps I should keep an eye on this haunted house until police back up arrives. Trap. Good thing I am a god, so I can't be killed. <laughs> March 13, 11.23 a.m. That guy betrayed. No, can't be. When, when the deal. Who is that? What are we talking about? Split police. Alright. In front of meetup. I can't move my body. I, I fear I may faint again. Where am I? How long was I out? It wasn't raining like it is now when I made the drop off. This was supposed to be a simple affair, God damn it! Why have I been taken hostage as well? I can only assume that the gumtree lost sight of me at some point. The only reason I agreed to be with Dwarf Man was because of a phone call. It was from Mr. Ernest Amano, the director of a powerful Zaibatsu, the Amano group. But aside from that, I also owe him a great debt of gratitude. His only son, Lance, had been kidnapped. I know that Lance is already in his 20s, but I guess some things you never grow out of. I can't sit around waiting for someone to come help me. I must escape somehow. No! <laughs> was that you making that funny sound? Who's there? And how dare you laugh at the gentleman's plight! It is I, Kay Faraday! I am finally rapidly approaching at 100 miles per hour! Who are you? Are you one of the kidnappers? And why did it take so long? Even though you're, even though you're going 100 miles per hour, how did it still take you like two cases to come here? Shut up, old man! I'll try my best! Kidnapper? Me? No way! I may not into such petty crimes! No, I want something much, much bigger! Ugh, I must be worn out from today's ordeal. Focus, Miles! Ah, I forgot to do this myself! Sorry about that! Um, Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight! When the lone stars will shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight! And what is me? For I am a great thief, Yutagurasu! Great thief? Did you really just claim to be Yutagurasu? Oh, I'm a my name is Kate Faraday! And you call me Kate, Kate! Good, play the title! Okay. <laughs> Not quite, I have a mountain of questions for you. But first, if you will be so kind as to remove these walls. And, uh, should I remove them? Obviously, I've a lot of fun what you can make with silly faces. Like this one here, right here? Yes, man! God, God damn it! Hey, we're going to get on, man. I see glare you on me, you know. This one goes through here, and this... there you go! <sighs> what a relief. I owe you my thanks. Uh, it's okay, 
now you can pay back in full later! Moment, what question should I start with? Unfortunately, I can always tell. Nothing is going to be easy with this cheeky girl. You're right about that! You call yourself a great thief, yet are you really a thief at all? You know that mean? I got it. You think with a yellow you know I mean? couldn't possibly be such a big time thief, right? That is uh, not a part I have a tough time relieving. I'm a weird general not to give us, you know. Yep, I'm a pure blooded great thief. Is there a little something I inherited from my predecessor? In that case, you wouldn't mind if I arrested you then, right? Well, of course I might. I haven't done anything yet. Seriously, I don't know how I can say such a horrible thing to save you. That's true. Technically, she hasn't stolen anything in front of me yet. So, when you say you, you are V Yatagarasu, do you mean you are V Yatagarasu? Yep! The most worried of watches! We left you a great peak! But I know the title on recently. So I haven't had to do anything yet as for Seki Yatagarasu. I was not aware that Feast could pass down the titles like that. Uh, don't worry, I've got some big plans in the works! Big plans, huh? They wouldn't have no lead to a big arrest, would they? I know, but just no way they would pass it either! I have a problem here! <laughs> I don't know, the idea has it's no doesn't see the petty trinkets! That's one thing and only one thing I want to see her! Only one thing? And what would that be? I bet it's good to have to find our way out of here! Well, at least there's one thing we agree on. I'm sure I have plenty of time later to learn more about you. Do you not tell me what your name is, Mr. Prosecutor? Oh, I guess not. I'm my such work. <laughs> but hold on. I see spam. Let's see if I can. Hold on. Ah. <sighs> I still need to learn how to... Hmm... Eh, that works. I still need to learn how to kick people and ban them. <laughs> this is all pretty new to me. I might get to that later. <laughs> Aha! Now I remember! How can you remember something I just told you? But you sure is chibi. I'm a central. Let's get out of here! Yeah, have fun with that. Huh? It would seem that we are locked in from the other side. So, uh, about the time you jumped down here from up there, you won't happen to be able to do it the other way around. What? No way! I don't hear you! La 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 la! Okay, you do remember where you came in from, right? It looks like that, it looks like that might be our only way out of this room. Slight miscalculation. That's a good time to make an entrance from, but I can't jump that high to make an exit. Well, <laughs> <sighs> I suppose we have no choice but to look around and see if we can't find another way out. Isolation room. I, you know what? Hmm. Eh, fair enough. Okay. I'll take that. I mean, streaming is fun and all, but you gotta take care of a chat too. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of weird because I'm not even that big, so... I mean, to be fair, yeah, I suppose so. So I guess I suppose spam bots would be the ones that would come in here first. <clears throat> I mean, I do it for fun anyway. <laughs> this view I was tied to. Looks up. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Ashworth? Ha oh, ha, oh, very funny. Anyway, it's the ceiling. <laughs> I was pondering if perhaps we could make it over in, over to and out the window if we climbed this. Good thinking, if, it, if it's a climbing mission you need, just leave it to me! Thanks, this little hook looks like it might make for a good foothold. 
I'll be okay and good luck. Come here, come on it. I claim you get a glass of spritz on my drinks and thanks to the skies. Here I go. Let's not talk about this again. As I thought, the female's definitely not made for climbing. What do you mean as I thought? I'm not a guinea pig, you know? <laughs> yes, you are, little thief. What is this? Look like a bad virgin is looking as bad as ever! Looks like a costume head from head to me. I guess a bad virgin costume is at the very least a two-piece, huh? The real question is, why is only the hair sitting out here on the floor? Huh. And of course, the elephant in the room. A very small elephant. The phone! Hmm? Isn't this my phone? It looks like it made it through the ordeal intact. If only was a way for us to contact someone on the outside! Oh, but we do have a way, right here. Battery's dead. Ah, what's the cell phone here this whole time? If I'm right, that the gumption should have contacted the prison for backup by now. Now why is it working? Hey, that was, sir. Are you okay? I also wow it, sir. I'm fine. I was under unconscious for a spell by the kidnap after. That's all. I'm sorry, sir. I'm such a, I'm such a failure. If only I had not sight of you. Detective, we don't have time for this. Have the police set up a perimeter right now. You don't have to worry about that, sir. I already got the boys working on that. I didn't do it bad, I saw the... Ah. What's one, Detective? Sorry to butt in, but I'm afraid you're going to have to make do with me. Who is this? Long Lang of Interpol. Glad to speak with you, Mr. Ashworth. I've heard a great deal about you. So why that he's an Interpol agent like your servant involved in a domestic kidnapping case? Don't for details. A crime is a crime, but on a local or global scale. Besides, you want us in a world of trouble. Uh, uh, why would you say that? Things he says. The packet runs together, stays together. You catch my drift? It costs quite a work by wanting blind into a situation and banging out in card. You should have contacted the police from the very beginning. I'm sorry about that for seven because of a lapse in judgment. However, I humbly request that you please help me out of your out of your post haste. Sorry, no can do. What? What do you mean? We aren't to be kidnapped now, and I haven't got any hands to spare. As I said, my pack moves us on. You wouldn't want to go alone, so good luck to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh, once we do catch the kidnapper, what's the short we can find you. Eventually. You. You. What's wrong? Did, did you get cut off? No. My phone went out of power. No way! Doesn't matter anyway. You should try to get out of here through our own means. Yeah, I have a name to live up to after all. If we put our heads together, we should have found a way out. Oh well, so much for that. They're holding a blue badger photo rally. You didn't know? Plus not just a blue badger, it's his whole family too. No way, he has a family. Take a picture of every member of the Badger family and receive a prize! With only one of each of the four family members wandering throughout the park! Best of luck! If you manage to snap a shot of every member of the family, you get a really posh prize! Well, there's a costume mess sitting over there, why not start with a picture of that? Also, who even still says posh anymore these days? You do, Mr. Edgeworth! Point taken. You can't do that, that's cheating! There's only one of each badger in the park, so you have to work for it! Speaking of badgers, there was one sitting against the wall in the haunted house. Seriously? A 
Let's have a dancing event on Council Stage first. You have to take pictures of the costume and walk around the park. Hmm. So those are the rules of this game. How cool. Ah. Yeah. Hey, there's something inside the bottom of my box. Ooh, I think it's a pink badger costume. Pink badger. You don't keep up with what's going on in the world, do you? In that case, you'd better be on the world badger clan with this. Oh, great. What a badger. The very first badger. The bad badger. Wild criminal with a gun. <laughs> Blue badger. An ally of justice who keeps the bees. And a pink badger. Not, you, not her unique pink bow. <laughs> so pink badger is just the girl badger, I guess. <laughs> What is this thing? Think of it as a bible of all things we ever need to know about the clan. Whatever. I suppose I can keep it as a reference guide or something. The blue batch of bible data was shot down in my organizer. <laughs> I suppose this means that's where I keep all the costumes. It certainly looks that way. It's like a batch of family son. There are eight boxes, but seven of them are empty. Which means that seven of the costumes are in use right now. Huh. But all these badges have mass cuts of the police force. Well, I heard if, I heard if the police had a hand in sponsoring the theme park. Probably because the gates were the group of the police from all those cases they saw. They have all the power for state. And they use it to make a theme park. Honestly, based. <laughs> So close to real life. <laughs> Not just anything but we have a handcuff shade double looping roller coaster. That is quite enough. I'm feeling woozy from just the fall of such a thing. I won't rest until I find every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I suppose this is a pink badger. But since it has the same design, doesn't it seem forced to call this one a female? I think so. I mean, just look at. I took it but I took it how long the eyelashes are! That's the only difference. And maybe this thing! Yes, and It is okay, see lipstick! Ah advertising and merchandising. Ain't that real? What she's known to say about the giant pink ribbon or is that too obvious? Ah this is that blue badger I met at the main gaze. Excuse me, but his name is Porta Badger, not Blue Badger. He was of, of the very first design created by the local police chief. You know, when you compare the two, the blue badger looks a bit cuter. I suppose as you continue to read. I suppose as you continue to redesign him, the chief managed to make him cuter and cuter. Even you met here has come a long way when you think about how much we evolved. Are we comparing the blue badger to humans now? Yes, deal with it. <laughs> I can do whatever the hell I please. <laughs> so this is the blue badger's rival, the bad badger, huh? Do you feel some sort of reverence towards this badger, okay? Huh? I can't believe it will be, uh, be so typical when it comes to thieves. Surely you must also think they are much cooler and cuter ones out the way. That's it! I'm sorry that Twist and Fever will need an image makeover! Uh, good luck with that one. Look, it's a blue badger! I suppose even this thing can be popular with women. My nemesis! What in the... Why is she beating it up? It's got the word bad right in its name! There's nothing but bad news for someone like me! But... They, they all have the name. They all, they all have the word bad in the name. I think he's out there wandering around in this park. I better be careful or he's going to rest me by the power of his name alone. I somehow doubt that the blue badger has the power to arrest anyone. <laughs> and what have we here? Ah. I don't get it. Why do I feel a laser like stare ain't right at me? D did you want to take a look? Well, that money will do! Ooh, I see, yes, this is definitely a Q 
key! I'm sure it's the key to something! I mean, just test it out on the front door? But something I thought was relevant to my interest. Hmm. I suppose we can make our way out if we were able to climb on top of his lockers. Aha! That's pretty clever! You're making good thief here, Mr. Ashworth! Please don't ever place my name and the word thief in the same sentence again. Let's see, I wonder if I can jump and grab the top of the locker here! What? Eh? Man, why do they have to make such thin normal lockers anyway? Even if we wanted to use these lockers, we need some sort of foothold. Hmm. Maybe we can use this paint to help us escape! And what exactly do you have in mind? Ah, we can make a paint help and read giant letters! And who, pray tell, would see these giant letters? We're inside a building. Okay, now what we light with paint on fire and set it out color small signals! And then Musa would think some crazy answers was about in copper cups! Ah, uh, actually that may not be great for me seeing as I'm a thief and all. Let's try to find something other than this paint to you, shall we? Hmm. It's okay, how's it going? <laughs> Do you know of a person who kidnapped me went? Well, I don't know if you have any here. Sound like we went into the next room and started talking to someone. I feel like I heard something as well, but it's uh, all a haze in my mind. However, I do recall that the kid never was talking with someone. It was just a guess before, but I guess I really am dealing with two kidnappers here. Ah, the I left. It almost seems as if they were done with you. I suppose that is the case, as my kidnapping seems like an afterthought to the one million. Well, if I went into the next room, let's see what we can find out through the slots. Anything else? Okay, look at my look at my badge! I don't think it's more important right now! I can only run for later! <sighs> I suppose she's right. Fair enough. Oh, we can paint the room the kidnappers were in from here! Oh, that's interesting. I warned with himself if I did every suspicious looking knock and coo any. There's a door on the opposite side that appears to be the same as this one. Which would mean that I can probably assume that these two rooms are very similar in structure. I believe I may have just found a ticket out. There's a beam in the next room, identical to the one in this room. There's even a hook on, on it to hold a prop up floor panel in place. Which reminds me. Can you find something useful, Mr. Ashworth? Hmm, perhaps. I may have found a very handy hint to how we get out of here. The what I think it is. That's right, it's a ladder! I think it's a step ladder. No, it's very definitely a ladder! Oh, that'd be good if I had an escape from the just in case. That's awesome! They look, they look like a bunch of great pieces themselves! No, they're not, because I hardly doubt they made me tunnel themselves. The floor panel was removed and propped up against the beam, in a very specific way. Huh. I think this building was originally built with a basement or underground area. Huh. Anything else of note? I don't think so. Now might be, now might be the time to logic, actually. Let's see. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of, we've we have got a lot of stuff to work with, actually. 
Locker, so we can get to the top, then we can escape. I know we got some footholds. I mean... This is too far away though. It's not- plus it's not enough of a foothold to climb out with. The pen is held in place by the hook. By your hook. Another underground room, perhaps. Costume. The key. Maybe with with panel? It's a far shot though. Yeah, fair enough. <sighs> hmm. Wait, hold on. There's a hook here. And there's a hook here, right? That should connect, I think. Let's hook on the beam. You know, I already tried. There's no way I can jump from this hook to the window. Come on, even you told me that something that's just not possible. Huh, I was about to suggest it again. Well, but it's here for a different purpose. Really? Like what? As you saw in the adjacent room, it's clearly for keeping a floor panel propped up. Which means, that, which means that there should be a panel in this room that we can open as well. Oh, I get it! We didn't know its existence all this time because it was being hidden by this tarp. Why is this tarp here anyway? Alright then, let's follow the thing up and see what's underneath! There we go. Now this is what I call a treasure! Interesting. Let's check out this first. Wow, there's been really another entrance to the secret hidden basement! I told you for a treasure! I said I wish to smell as the sweet fragrance of freedom. Da, 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 da. What the fuck is a kilometer? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Hurry up and open the hatch! Alright. Mm -mm. This thing is locked down tight. That's a piece of logic we needed. Ah, fiddlesticks! No worries, I have a power of logic! Easy! <laughs> I believe you up, Kate. Okay? Uh oh, why me? Because you need to use the tiny key that you've taken quite a liking to. Ah, gotcha, just leave it to me! I love the tense feeling of these moments when the apart and cover something big! I believe the feeling of freedom would be much more satisfying right about now. I don't even know! I don't even know how the fuck to measure kilometers! I measure everything in washing machines for freedom eagle! Alright, I've got the secret door open! And now for the escape! Bye bye! Uh, wait, 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 hold on! Uh, 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 are you alright? Okay, hey! I'm fine! I didn't just let us all! Thank goodness she's alright. I about had a coronary. That's not a real life machinery down here! What about an exit? Hello! Um, it's really dark and crammed down there, so I really doubt that's an exit. <coughs> uh, I can't leave what happened! You have only yourself to blame for leaping before you looked, you know. No way! I mean, how am I supposed to know that the ladder was removable? Huh. Wait, hold on! Ah! We can use the ladder, actually! <coughs> Woo! I figured out- I figured out a we can escape this person, okay? I've connected the dot! You didn't connect it! I have connected them! Oh, so how are we going to pass out? It seems that your reckless actions were used after all. Ah, uh, you're actually praising me! More of a thank you for giving me an idea regarding this letter. Beyond 
want Lana or what about it? This letter isn't just supposed to wish to go down. Oh, I see you have reused this. Yes, I believe it's long enough to reach the top of those lockers. Yes, we spent entirely too much time in here. Kidnappers held me hostage and a mysterious Interpol agent. This case is only getting started and our people want to bring it to a resounding end. And we out we go, March 13th, 12, 12 11pm, the wild, wild west area. It looks like it's stopped waiting for now. Yeah, and thank goodness you have no idea how hard it was raining earlier. Miss Atwa! I'm totally okay. So glad to see you managed to escape, sir. I was so stressed that I thought my heart was gonna give out. Set of gumption, may I ask what in the world that is? Well, that's um Oh my goodness! Cut off! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! 98, 99! Jifu, our 99 members are here in the current for sir! Sup, bitches! What the heck do you think you're doing cutting my cups off like that? Every person is a valuable human, he human being, you get me? And everyone has a name of a parents gate to them. No one has a two or three. Everyone, because of H.O. Wank is number one, got it? Shifu! Shifu! <laughs> you are Agent Lang, I take it. Hey, Anthony, how dare you do that Shifu so rudely? Ah! Lang they says, a cop who disrespects others soon pays a disciplinary bite of an elder. So don't you ever forget to show a proper respect towards another person. Gina. That doesn't match, but please accept my card. Oh, thank you. Please accept mine in return. You all see me just now? That is a proper way for two people to show their respect. Keep it in mind, you get far in life, got it? <sighs> ah, that's right. Francisco did warn me. Something about an elite Interpol agent from the Republic of Shang Apparently, this man has the highest successful West in the organization. Agent Lang, why exactly is an Interpol agent involved with this clearly domestic case? That's none of your business, Mr. Prosecutor. How is it not? I heard a rumor or two about you. You saw the murder that occurred during a flight home recently, right? Ha! But you should take a while just to rest one little flight attendant. How pathetic. Uh, how dare you say it about Mr. Atro? I think it could have solved as fast as hell. The community gully jumps to the aid of his master. How cliche. Look, what I'm getting at is that if I had been there, no one would have died. I would have solved the entire case and Agent Hicks could still be with us here today. Agent Lang knew you had a victim, Agent Agby Hicks. Hicks was like a brother to me, so now I'm out to take my revenge. Agent Hicks was investigating a smuggling ring with Francisco and a third person. This must be the match he was talking about. In that case, I don't understand how I feel as a kid to someone I know. So I ask that you please allow me to participate in the investigation. It isn't your neatly turned garden of Eden, you know. You're only wild on this now, Mr. Prosecutor, and way out of your league. No hard feelings, but why don't you go on back to your courtroom now, pretty boy? You, you dare to mock the court of the gods! 
I do! And I only be held of a filthy prosecutor. Be absolute blasphemy of disrespecting a god. I'll do it again, fucker! Sorry, but the truth doesn't need the likes of you to distort it today. We use the adjective filthy to describe a prosecutor. And why? Why do I feel such intense loathing emanating from him? And because I'm an atheist! I don't believe in you, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Alright, man. Good job on the perimeter around Gatewater Land. Now just find me the kidnapper and bring me back to me! Dismissed! Sir! Now then, Mr. Prosecutor, you just sit tight here and don't cause any trouble, understand? Wait. <laughs> Mr. Atchworth! It's been a while since I last met someone so disagreeable. Why of all places did he show up here, and completely out of the blue at that? I suppose I'll have to ask Detective Gumshoe to fill me in on that. Great job, Detective. Sir! For losing sight of me and the kidnapper and allowing my investigation to be hijacked. Hi, sir! I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. But, I'm the case isn't lost yet, sir. I'm gonna show you the sum of the man Dick Gumps you can be! Shall I prepare the 21 gun salute now or later? <laughs> Detective, are you sure it wasn't for freezing to call for backup? Of course, sir. I think I would now a number onto my own poison like the back of my hand. Then why did an Interpol agent show up instead with an army of his own agents? And I have no idea. About five minutes after I made the call, that woman showed up out of nowhere, sir. Agent Lang definitely has an agenda, so the question is, what is he after? Mr. Atchworth, I was wondering if I may ask you about one thing, sir. Yes, what is it? Um, who oh, is that? Uh, the girl over there, I mean. I'm Mr. Assistant, Kate Fiddley! What? Oh, hooray, okay. I'm Mr. Assistant, though! Funny, don't recall making my assistant. Yeah, my Mr. Atchworth's assistant, me! It's been like that since forever! Sarah, let's tell you supporting role! Because I'm a cute girl, so I just immediately see you all! How oh, can you say something so serious with a trying grin on your face, Phil? It's like the only thing I have! Mr. Echo, you've got to be with our answer! You stole my wall, so. I'm taking her in! Can you come back and make sure she says all the sentence? Oh, come on! It'll be fun! Like musical chairs at first they fall on their feet! No way! Oh, what? I will not lose this ball to you, little girl! Ah! It's okay, go show off my badge. If you're going to show me your prosecutor's badge, then I'll show you my police badge! Your wall is looking rather thin, detective. Huh? Oh, huh. I must have left my- I almost have left my badge at home. I always get the too many stuff. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, detective. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir, so nothing is coming to mind right now. As a man, the only thing I can detest to is this. To me, man, I think Gumshoe will tell no lie! The thoughts in the right place. Now to work on his deduction skills. Oh well. I guess that's about all we got out of him. Okay, hi! Man, I can't call you anything still and still seeing it all with a detective around! I suppose it's not easy unless there's many members of law enforcement in the vicinity. I'm not in a hurry to teach us any old thing. Which is it? Do you plan to do something or not? <sighs> Quite a mystery, this one. Maybe I should talk with her a bit more. So what are you going to do about investigation to the kidnapping? Uh, good question. Since Agent Lang has the authority to investigate this case now, this makes things a bit more complicated. Oh, come on! The color will stop you! I even had your head, let's go! But you're a self purported great fever, you're not. I don't believe I can let someone of an unlawful nature participate in an investigation. You'd like to 
listen to you. I'm not just any old bird thief. I am Rui Yatakarasu. And as I said earlier, Rui Yatakarasu is after one and only one thing. What is this one and only one thing you're after? Rui Yatakarasu is only interested in one thing. And that is the truth. I see. It was seven years ago. It was a vigilante who a business world into a panic. Labeled mysterious and phantom-like, yet the grass appeared and vanished at will. Though we still don't know much about the chief's ultimate goal, we do know the targets. The Atagarasu liked to find and pop at least close evidence of cop dealings of all sorts. Once the target was chosen, an automatic calling card or announcement was sent forth. As that we chose the corporation was infiltrated without even the target noticing. Some days later, the evidence that was found was sent out to the mass media, along with a card of a mark of a three legged raven. Looking back, I suppose they could call the Atagasu for stealing the truth. Could this child really be the successor to the original Yatakarasu? But that can't be, can it? Yes, yes. Where are you, son? <coughs> Mr. Amano. Oh, Mars, my boy. I'm sorry to involve you in such an affair just after you've returned. For you, Mr. Amano, I gladly offer my assistance. After all, I have you to think for how well things turned out during my time of war. If it wasn't for you, I might not have been introduced to that law office. And had the chance to study the inner workings of another country's judicial system. I now know I now know how the jury works. Thank you very much for that. Though the flames of the English courtroom were a bit much. I can't believe we're still going for that whole flames being thrown into the thingy thing. <laughs> no 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 no. Think nothing of it. As you know, Manfred and I go way back. I consider him a beloved disciple of his to be like one of my own blood. If you ever want to go overseas again, you need only to ask. I can use my company's vast network to send you anywhere, anytime. So, what's your man? He is the father of the company kidnapped Lance Amano, Ernest Amano. Now then, have you found Lance at Miles? Please, I met my poor boy dearly. I'm terribly sorry, but your son's whereabouts in my unknown, Mr. Mano. Oh, hold on there! But what happened to Ovid Mani? I believe the one man has been stolen, and the culprits are now on the one. What? Given to Chiba, Mr. Ashworth. Okay, hold on. Uh, I, ca I can't take this. Hold on. I need to start. I need to start banning some stuff. Let's see what I can do. That <sighs> definitely not from here. These are being uh, suppressed, so that's good. They also already left because of course they did. Uh, at some point I gotta do something about this. Oh well. Forgive me, Mr. Amano. I was wondering, I was wondering if you could please tell me the details of the kidnapping one more time. Oh, it was yesterday. A car came to the house. 
when the receiver came, the son of my son. Help me, Daddy. Ugh. I know this is tough, but please stay with me here, Mr. Amano. Don't understand. He called me Daddy. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't called me Daddy in ages. It was incredibly moving. I wish I had recorded him saying that. He definitely should have recalled the conversation. But not for the foolish sentimentality of an old man. Request my memory, what kind of person is Lance again? I will tell you about Lance and we get him back. Surprisingly, a lot can be deduced from a person's relationship and behavior. Very well then, Lance is my one and only son, and he turned 21 this year. He is very much like me when I was his age, kind and very attractive. I'm sure women simply can't keep their hands off of him. Is there anything else about him you know of late? Now that you mention it, I haven't been able to get in contact with our butler, Oliver. Your butler? Yes, his name is Oliver Deacon. He's been with our family for years now. He gets along so well with Lance, so I thought maybe he would know where my son is. Huh. Mr. Amon, could you please tell me a little more about your butler, Mr. Deacon? As a butler, he's outstanding. He even served as Lance's personal private tutor. It took a brief leave recently, but even after it was over, I haven't been able to reach him. So you still haven't spoken with him since, since his leave. What is about his family and friends? I said they hadn't seen him. I tried everything I could think of, Mars. Do you think this could have something to do with Lance's kidnapping? It's possible, but I can't say anything for sure quite yet. Even if the person closest to the victim has gone missing. Oliver Deacon. Not like one name I'd better keep in mind. This detective come through. Hey, yes, sir. Let's begin our investigation. Even if an interpolation holds the authority to help this investigation, we can't allow ourselves to stand idly by, twiddling our thumbs. Oh, maybe one hundred percent, Mr. Actor, sir. I think come through. Let's just stick by the side to fake it, fan. Mr. Amano, it was my fault the cops escaped. Which is why, with your blessing, I vow to return Lance to you myself. Oh, I've never seen you so passionate before, Miles. Good luck to you, my boy. Alright! Oh, what are you waiting for? Let's do some investigating! I think I'm looking to your pal. Forget it! <laughs> oh, why are we starting up? <sighs> so, what should we fix on first? Hmm. Wait, George and Lance, we can't leave this area. But the couples were here until only very recently. Which means we may be able to find some clues that will tell us how they escaped. Okay, let's get looking. Hey, you bet! What, who, me? What are you doing goofing off in a place like this? I wasn't goofing off, I was about to help Mr. Archer kick off his investigation. You imbecile! Our police detectives are now under Agent Lang's direct command. N no way! I am not working for Rob Boy! Mr. Atrof, can you do something? I am not exactly in a position to argue, seeing as how you. Mm hmm. Okay. Internet cut out, we're back. No, no, poor Gumshoe. <laughs> Boy, I have, I have got just the thing for you. I was too slow to read that. <laughs> that was exciting. No. Oh. Okay. What? Can I tell him already to get down to some tattoo work? You should go home. Your friends will be worried about you. Oh, come on, I finally get to be a citizen to try to ditch me. I don't recall offering you a position. Huh? Why do you have to be so difficult? That's always too late, you know? Like I said, I've always told me a position I was citizen a while back. <laughs> You're the only one asserting that. Well, every time anyone else says it's already gone, that's better to get us away. You shouldn't speak so lightly of things you know nothing about. Fine, whatever, you win. Go ahead, do an investigation. 
Of Tata, this is okay, it's good. Take along the metal, what do you say? You know she turns out to be useless, she's not going to listen to me. I might want to, I might want to run down and let her come along for the ride. Ah. Let's see. Great. <laughs> Alright, hello, sir. That's cute, though. If you could just let me through here. So, I can't let anyone through. Agent Lex orders. Ugh, I suppose I have to deal with this impulse for now. Anyway, look at that. Understand why she's so excited about this badger hunt. Speaking of badgers, where's the person inside of her? Mr. Badger, I wonder if you might share with me what you saw. He's doing that contorted wiggling dance again. So, my makers have pulled one of this, sir. This man was a witness in one of the cases I had two years ago. About the only thing I remember about this officer is that uh, he was very loud. He often spoke and acted before he fought, which gave me a great deal of headaches. Is he fun of him, Mr. Ashworth? I've met him in the courtroom once before. Hmm. Why was he so upset when, the, when we unmasked him? Does he have something to hide? <laughs> oh, for some weekends, why are you standing here wasting time? Sir! Because I'm not a police officer right now, sir! I have a blue badge, sir! And I'm creating memories and dreams over kids! That's never a waste of time, sir! I have a day to become as big as Detective as Couch, sir! All the time is got any boy into a while ago! I mean, didn't spend radio on my shoulder crackers, but you can't never have this cage, sir! If I marry with my shoulder, I'm making a take to, sir! I want to know what to try there! I mean, I got there! I want to see how people are ready! And I can't buy my trademark friend, he doesn't try it unto anyone! It would seem that some people never change. Oh, Mr. Meekins! <laughs> so, why exactly are you in that ridiculous outfit? Sir! That's because, sir! I wish I keep it in good spirits, sir! Why are you not in the mind? The fact that I'm in office, I'm a trial of kidnapper, sir! I see. Agent Lang is very wise to employ this sort of diversionary tactics. Do we have one of my able batch of half of the different disguises, sir? It's... It's such an honor! So, missed any clues? How long have you been standing here, officer? Sir, for about one and a half, sir. Hmm. That's not the time I woke up from being not unconscious. I've been here ever since, sir. If that's true, then it's possible for some you can solve a kidnap was escaping. Uh, however, sir, I must say you didn't see things, sir. I haven't asked you anything yet, officer. No, 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 no. But I know you will, sir. He's hiding something from me. Of some weekends, I insist that you tell me more about the recent movements. Sir, I'm playing with a new the all time, sir. I'm getting into it too. I'm in the park and I'm wearing this costume. And one hour ago, I came over here, sir. Everything is a special looking people this all time, sir. But I didn't see a badger, sir. A long blue badger. What you said just now is contradictory to the facts. That's so, Mr. Ashworth. This is what Officer Meekin's testimony contradicts. Ah! Uh... Oh god, there are two shadowy people. Lance and Oliver. Okay, farewell. Hmm. Alright, but this is a map? This is the event, right? 
Yeah, no, this should be it. Of some weekends, let's break things up. I'd like to ask you about the last statement. Sir, of course, sir. I don't see how much more supporting you, sir. I don't know if I patrol every way, so I may as long as I'm commanded to aid. You serve as a blue badger, correct? And yet, if you take a look at this, what you saw was not supposed to happen. This park is supposed to have only one of each badger in it at any given time. Which means that as long as you have a blue badger, Officer Meekins, you should not have seen another blue badger one every premises. <laughs> ah, sir! Uh, I mean that there are two blue badgers walking around, but, but why? Huh. Sir, I want to cover the blue badger now, sir. I want to do not know anything about anything, sir. I mustn't respond to that. It would be like shooting fish in a barrel. Hmm. I don't think I, I can get anything else out of him. Forces are paint on this garage door to complete the Wild West theme. It looks so lifelike, don't you think? Are you thinking of wrangling over the stealing them? We can call them out of there, sure! Come on, I know you can sweet talk to- I know you can sweet talk them out! I could be holding a cube of sugar in my hand, they wouldn't budge, okay? <laughs> I, I did not even notice that. It's a set of tire trucks originally from the garage. Aha, so that means the car left from the garage at some point time, right? Correct, before the car to leave these tracks. Which means that it left through the passing rain. That's the only thing as to why these tracks are made of mud. Hmm, three tracks. I think we can also save these two with a special type of car. Huh. There's a blur about the cactus here! This cactus is a very gracious gift to Gabriel to land from a local police precinct! I can't believe you believe went so far as to even donate a cactus to this place. So, is the police department running a cactus farm on the, on the side? They're just kidding, they wouldn't do something so silly, would they? Uh, quite frankly, I, I do not know, Kay. At this point, I genuinely do not know. They could. Actually, I have a vague impression I've seen a cactus farm at the precinct before. Oh my goodness! <laughs> ah. Did we never fire the cowboy? Wait, the cowboy, the, the, the cowboy never even worked at the precinct! What is he? I don't remember. I know the cowboy's brother was- I, don't, I know the cowboy's brother was a detective, but I don't know if the boy himself was one too. Also, yes, I did forget his name. <laughs> ah. These are real. I wonder what it put in them. Water could, would be the obvious answer. But if we had water in the bell under the blazing hot sun, wouldn't it go bad? People of that period probably didn't care about how it tasted. Sir, but I can't let you get away from making fun of our forefathers! I mean, maybe we really like the trash taste. Look who's making fun of him now. <laughs> Ah, I guess we're done with him. We can't go back inside there. Hey, Mr. Ashworth, is this one of those things you, you tie horses to? Yes. The horses are in another location for a moment. Ah, and here was something I would get to ride one. You know how to ride a horse. Nope, never will be in my life. But I have an Asian friend who was born with you off a horse. No sequitur is the only way to describe your logic. <laughs> ha! I got you now, you wild criminals! I think the item we kidnappers would have better sense than to try hiding in these. Oh, come on, lighten up, will ya? I was just only joking. I don't really think that the criminals would be hiding here, right in front of the two officers. I, I certainly hope not. Oh, we can't pet the cat. This is a crime. Hey, there's a 
much of footballs in the mud over here. I remember hearing rain fall out here while, while I was being held in there. Yep, it was just a passing rain. And every once I already pretty much right up. I will be thankful. It does us have some nice footprint samples. You know what? I bet if we follow them, we can find out where the kidnappers went. First, we'll be able to spot them because of the muddy shoes. I don't think it will be that easy. Why not? Look carefully. There are quite a few different sets here. We don't know which ones belong to the kidnappers. Ah, oh, that's true. We don't know what kind of shoes they are wearing. Wow, well, some of us look like look some of us look like normal footprints, others look like better costume footprints, maybe. Possible. Anything else? I don't think so. I guess it's time to logic. But first we save. Alright, logic time. Hmm. Hmm. We might go together, right? Yeah. A second blue badger that shouldn't exist. Clearly, the true identity of a person underneath is... Oh, I know! It's one of the kidnappers, right? The person who are causing the guy away! Thank you for telling my logic, Kay. But yes, precisely. After all, the costumes that went missing from the storage area... A blue badger, a porter badger, and a bear badger. Yes, those three. But there are three phony badgers running around in the park somewhere, huh? Huh. Yeah, so these might connect together too. Yep. Now that we know that the kidnappers are wearing badger costumes. Those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. Oh, I mean, now we know which tracks belong to the kidnappers, right? <laughs> yes, more than shoe prints, we need to follow the paw prints of badgers. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to use those footprints and go badger hunting! Oh boy. Anything else? Eh. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, what evidence do we have? Mm -hmm. I just try presenting shit. <laughs> oh well, that didn't do anything. I mean, knowledge and information might be kind of connected. Hmm. Does he know anything else? Oh, seeing the match reminds me of Manfred. Oh. Now, he was one fine prosecutor, the best of the best. Uh, yes, I can't disagree with you there. Hmm. I sense that I don't really want to talk about him. How I feel about him, it's hard for me to be truthful about that with another person. Your hard countenance, I don't know what you're thinking or feeling. But mark my words, I think you're one for his true successor, I really do. I don't know how to feel about that. Hmm. 
Actually, since we have it. Okay, hi. Yes? Oh, wait. Of course, we have to talk to our own assistant. She has clues too, for sure. I always forget about that. Okay, what do you think of the kidnapping? I don't know anything about the victim. So actually, I was hoping you could tell me. Ah, oh, that's right. I never did explain the situation to you. I got involved because of a phone call I received. It was from none other than the director of the Amano group, Mr. Ernest Amano. His only son, Lance, had been kidnapped, and he wanted me to be the drop-off man. A little less suspect that I would be abducted myself. And then I found a title of Paul screaming! Go! C can you please drop that already? <laughs> it's okay. I will be a prosecutor too, right? Don't even think of doing this for me. If it's important to you, then why don't you wear your under lapel? I suppose I can't really tell her. That no one in the prosecutor's office wears her badges. Why would everyone ask that question of me? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> I really love theme parks! To permanent you to have fun time. So why did you choose this one? And why choose to show yourself to me of all people? Because I was telling you silly duh! You were following me! But why? Huh. That's a new topic. But let's keep presenting more stuff for now. Anything else? What do you think about this? If you're going to do anything, at least keep your hands off of my lines. Alright, alright, I will turn it to you. Here you go! Oh, sorry for some information in return, but my line will do for now. Come on, Rachel family is waiting for us to find and take pictures of them! And remember, you have to yell back to get each time, or it doesn't count. You never woo her when you take her pictures? Tell me about it! I was finishing all of my slots. I I'm finishing all of my shots. But so, as any proper great feature. That's because of stealing permeate every aspect of this girl's life. <laughs> it's the book of information about my arch enemy, the Blue Badger! And I won't lose the place of him! We just wait and see! I'm going to write a tour of thievery! How's that, Miss Asher? The information that winds up on your wanted thoughts will suffice in this competition. To be. Looks like there's no fever foot! Only if we assume this is not your handiwork. Are you kidding? You know it's a blue badger's enemy number one to me. Can you imagine me ever being on good terms with that thing? Actually, it's surprisingly easy. <laughs> oh, we don't have a new topic? That's unfortunate. Alright, Mr. Meekins. Hmm. Anything else you can tell me? Hmm. No top! Hey, my little boy, I'm just being so long to probably fool with, sir. Or maybe I need to wear a shot on my cute poses. Ooh, like what? Like this! Great! Now I know what a new pose will be! Look, sir, I successfully started this person speaking style, sir! Uh, that's nice, K. Okay. <laughs> oh! So, I've become a blue bachelor family too, sir! I was with my blue bachelor family, sir! And it's very, very poor! It doesn't matter when I was with a blue bachelor only a little while ago, sir! If I can't remember what's every day of every bachelor, sir! It's not that hard to remember four incredibly obvious names. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, we're gonna come as a blue badger now, sir. <laughs> ah, yes. Gotta love spam bots. Actually, let's, let's try on this one if I can do something. Hmm. There we go. 
That's at least one person blocked. Though that probably doesn't do much against bots because I guess they keep making new accounts over and over again so they can keep doing it. It's fine. So what do we do now? Oh, I missed that pipe completely. Are you looking for footprints made by a costume? Hey, I think I found them! There are two sets here! They both do look like possible candidates. No, we were just supposed to go back to the footprints, it seems. The pipe doesn't even matter. <laughs> I said it's walking off to the west. Ah, it just stopped! I can't make care to take the red head from here! I think you can assume it's headed towards the stadium. Hmm, I wonder if the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. Huh? Hi, my lady! Come with him! I've got him! I've got one of the cupboards! Oh, no! I'm okay, Nepo, so. Don Cake. He was often to belong to Officer Meekins. But our criminals were, were each wearing a costume. To this garage for something! That's what I would suppose. Or for some weekends, if we could step aside for a moment. We need to examine the garage. Sir, watch your work, sir! Oh! Would you look at that? Look at that thing that Officer Mikins was just conveniently standing in front of his body! Let's open the shutter and see what we find. Oh, wait! Oh, that's not a that's not a break in science. Oh, okay, fair enough. Anyway, let's see what's in there. Hey, I'm kidnapped kitten about hiding inside. Ah! Wait, no. What in the? You just stumbled across a dead body. Well, damn, we just turned into a murder case. Should have. I expected that actually, considering this ex attorney. He must be in severe shock to have been the first to find it. Now then, who is this man? It's, it's Oliver! Yeah, I should have figured. Mr. Mano, are you saying that this man is? Yes, he's my butler. How would something like this have happened? Indeed. And why is Mr. Deacon here to begin with? I'd better investigate this crime scene quickly before Agent Lang or his men return. The kidnapper's footprints lead right to his garage. And right to a dead body. Is it possible one of the kidnappers is now a murder victim? Hmm. From my cursor examination, I believe this man died of a fatal bullet wound. You should not come for someone who just found a body! Well, here is my job. It's surprising, it's, a, it's surprising what one can become accustomed to in the span of two days. Also, the head! I won't wait until I've expected every suspicious looking look in query! Anything about this car? No? Okay. This is unusually shaped pendants. What is it? Is it something valuable? You have to gain some of your composure. Looks like a horse pendant! It's got an antique feel about it, and it's really pretty. Hold on, this man picked him on silver! Nice! It is for something after all! Ooh, and look! I saw a written on the back! Colin Devoray. His name! Colin Devoray. But this man's name is... Uh, hmm... As long as the interval agent has control of his case, I'm not going to be able to have a real autopsy done on the victim. I'm no doctor, but let's see what I can piece together myself. Hmm. There are two gunshot wounds, one in his abdomen and one on his shoulder. That means you were shot twice? No, I, I don't think so. I think the abdominal one is an entry wound, and the one near his shoulder is the exit wound. Ow! So you, you were shot from below, maybe? Well, that is, if you, that is if you were standing up. Nice! I knew you could figure it out! Because of experience, and I've seen my share of crime scenes. Speaking of experience... 
This car seems a bit too clean for me, but my boyfriend couldn't clean through. Oh yeah, Miles is right. There should be like a pool of blood or something, but there's nothing. I should make a note of this order here. Hmm, anything else? Wait. Huh? Oh, I could do something. What is in my inventory? Ah, uh, no, hold on. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, evidence. Huh. Bird enters the abdomen, access for the shoulder. The kidnapper stole free costume. I should... You know what? What, what logic do I have? Not enough. <laughs> I do not have enough logic to logic anything. <laughs> I have an isolation room. Let's see. Shot in the abdomen. What would we even deduce here? I don't know. We should probably talk some more. Mr. Amano, his body. Yes, that's my butler, Oliver. I would something like Mr. Fabbit. Indeed. And why is that Deacon here to begin with? This case has taken a turn for the unexpected. I say, I was shocked to open the shutter and find a dead body inside. I suppose most people would be, since the average person rarely runs across a corpse. Wait, you just compared me to a normal person, didn't you? I have been now that I'm. So, I suppose I should have recognized that you're a thief, correct? No, I'm a great thief! And a great thief is not supposed to be anything, got it? Apparently, with great fever comes great loss of short-term memory. Hmm. God damn it. Hmm. I wonder if anyone here thinks anything else about this. No? I probably can't talk to him either, I suspect. Nope. And what the hell do we even deduce here? Actually, hold on. We have this car here. What a peculiar car. Yeah, from the look of it, it must be a blue patch mobile. And it has three tires, so maybe it left those tire tracks behind. <sighs> That's simply not possible. Huh? Why? Take a look at the tires. There's no mud stuck to them. Therefore, it must have been here since before it started to rain. Ah, oh, gotcha, good eye! It's a shame I don't see any other clues around. Oh, damn. Hmm. And what the hell do we do here? some data here actually victim age 50 pending pending autopsy cause of death 
And then we find this indicate loss of blood without having a gunshot wound. Huh? Remarks, by the fact that we find a bullet on the clean for the body, where is very little blood at the site of the body was found. Maybe it's just well? Just noting that there, just noting that there's no pool of blood? Is that it? Never mind. Okay, it was worth a, it was worth a try. Maybe it's about his name? Eureka! Oh my god it is. <laughs> There's something not right about the name of a pendant. The victim is the Amano family butler and his name is Oliver Deacon. But the name of the pendant is Colin Devore. I wonder what's up with that. I don't know but... I think we've hit upon an important piece of information. There we go. And that was the only mistake I made at the very end. I am on a decent roll. Lance, Lance, where are you, sweetie? Oh my god. Excuse me, but you are. Oh, oh this is bad. He's really good looking. Uh, stop it, Lord. You can't have fun for a player like him. You can look I'm like seven of them now of a face in a face in a monologue, yeah. Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but might you be a friend of Lance? Yes, I'm Lance's girlfriend. My name is Little Love Pose. This girlfriend. Uh, it's not like us. We're more like friends and uh, we're not lovers or anything. Uh, uh, oh, we haven't gotten the What? But, but, I guess that's how people are going to see it, so I should just accept it. Even if this thing is a present from Lance. Uh, you know what which reminds me of? A cartoon character! Uh, I am inquired as to why you are here. I have been able to get in contact with Lance lately. And I began to get really worried! Uh, I looked everywhere for him, and I heard him of a kidnapping, so I came here. Oh, you really don't find me making four hours by yourself! Uh, is it true? Has Lance really been kidnapped? No one is supposed to know, but yes, it's true. Oh, Lance! I can't believe we've been spirited away! I wonder how you're doing right now. Look at his gun back to the family in love routine! Oh, great. So, Mr. Atreus, where do we go from here? I guess we gotta interrogate this kooky ass character. Oh, I found a body, so we should look into the murder. And hold it! I'm back, bitches! My man brought me up to speed of the radio! I have to say, you really should have called. I had to find something very intriguing. I have nothing to hide, Agent Blank. It's exactly what you see before you. I'll take it from here. Yeah, I guess we need that. Hey, you wait for an invitation? Hurry up and tame the suspect now. Suspect? Who? Of course it's Meekins. After Meekins, is it? You're coming with us. Uh, sir! I don't want to do it, sir! Agent Lang, don't you think you're being a bit rash? Do you even have a good read to suspect Officer Meekins? Ha! <laughs> I'll even get it up to you prosecutors, it's your job after all. Like I said earlier, the crime scene isn't as forgiving as the precious god room. That's your answer. I know you like your logic and reasoning. But sort of a practical fluff is not needed out here in the field. All I have to do is arrest suspicious person after suspicious person. Better you eliminate crime from the streets. 
But it's also precisely how you unnecessarily arrest innocent people by mistake. Innocent people? Nonsense! There's no such thing as an innocent person. We've all got the blemish that turn our hearts. That's tyranny. I won't allow such a thing to go on unchecked before my eyes. <laughs> Too bad you don't call me shots around here. As I have sworn to uphold the laws of this land, I cannot allow you to take this man in. And you would arrest a man on false, char on false charge without even conducting an investigation. And we know all as a member of law enforcement. Ew, how dare we can disrespect for you to our son, Shifu! Hold it! <laughs> you amuse me, Mr. Prosecutor. Langs, he says! Every pack has its own rules! If you can play by their rules and come out on top, well, that's a true victory. Alright, I'll give you beloved laws a fair shake. I'll show you just how much investigating I've done. We've got zero! With my line of logic! I've seen a lot of bad luck like one being counted off in my time. I can say you were shot in a single glance, but even you figured that much, all right? If you're going gun loss, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. Unless you're a member of law enforcement like Officer Meekin, isn't that right? I mean, I guess. That is your reasoning. So this walk is based on the philosophy of entertainment. Um, what's this philosophy of entertainment? Uh, you don't know. In that case, pay attention, girly. In my country, the criminals have a saying. Beware of a wolf. Why the wolf? Because in my language, Lang means wolf, and don't mess with me or my pack. And as for the entertainment philosophy, it's father's my honorable ancestor, Lang Zhi. Hmm. You'd think I'd have heard of him when his teacher is a few that famous. Lang Zhi developed interesting work on the lock criminals away thousands of years ago. To this day, the Zhang Power Police still attend his recruits using this philosophy. Using this philosophy. But thousands of years ago, when I to tell you about the universe of fairy tale. Huh. Anything worth done breaks over time. Do you really believe something as ancient as that can be applied to today's world? You want to put to a test? Alright, let's see. I seen a lot of fun like the one being cut off in my time. So what can you tell me about the bodies? A lot. Even if I'm an autopsy, I have my ways. I teach you the basics of forensics along with the detention velocity. Oh? Then you wouldn't mind telling me a little of what you figured out, correct? I can say you were shot in a single glance, but even you feel very much alright. Yes, I think anyone who saw the bullet ones would come to the same conclusion. Am I stupid? Because I wouldn't have. I would have thought he was shot twice because I'm fucking stupid. God damn it. <laughs> Don't put yourself on the back yet. What's that supposed to mean? Gina, scroll! Lazy says, search where the water is deepest. You have to keep your eyes on the big fish that looks in the depth, which is the killer. Is that right? What would you know about the killer? If you're killing gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. Hold it! It would appear you've studied a little of our laws. Studied? We need to study what every child in any street corner already knows. It's that. that. Sheena! Squall! Actually, no. The Federal Firearms Restriction Act? That's it. The Federal Finance Protection Act. I hear it's not easy to get a gun these days. Interesting. That woman is the one in charge of keeping track of information. Unless you're a member of law enforcement like Officer Mika, isn't that right? Hold it! If that's the case, there are plenty of other officers who might be potential suspects. 
Just seriously go to rest each and every one of them, are you? As if I wouldn't need to. I'm always looking to everyone else here. Oh? I have enough of I know no one else's weapon has been fired. <laughs> How do you check every single person's weapon in such a short span of time? That's because each and every one of my subordinates is extremely capable. It didn't take more than, than a few minutes to conduct the entire investigation. The power of sheer numbers. But you fit to check over some Mika's weapon, correct? Thanks for reminding me. Hey you! Show me your gun! What's wrong? Why does it look so sickly pale all of a sudden? A gun! What did you say? I can't hear you. That mummy is bit out already. Sir! Sir! I lost my gun, sir! How could you be so irresponsible? Ha 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 like you still be only suspect of God. You were one right here outside this garage. To ambush and kill the victim. Do you think that Officer Meek is very here to kill the victim? Do you, Lang? The little accusation deserves a lot more scrutiny. Ah. Oh, right, it's a new line then. Officer Meek is ambush the victim in this garage and kills him here with his gun. Hold it! We need to tell that the murder occurred here in this garage. From the, fact that the, from the fact that the suspect was found almost next to where the body was found, I'd say it's pretty obvious that this is the crime scene, and that's a contradiction. Then he says, the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. <laughs> hey, finally, quite even I've had before! But the more legs he says, <laughs> that squirrel. Successful investigations are the result of mortal returns to a crime scene. Looks like neither detectives nor criminals have changed their ways over millenniums. So this is the kind of conclusion the philosophy of detainment can lead you to. I don't get it, Mr. Ashworth. Why are you putting yourself in the long life with some Meekins? It's not that I particularly care about what happened to Officer Meekins. Oh, I... However, I can't understand why we're actually laying in North our country's laws. Chi Long Lang. What sort of investigator are you? Huh. Well, I'm now to present. Objection! Unfortunately for you, Agent Lang, that is simply not possible. What do you mean? You seem to be crossing for yourself. And while you were looking, did you not think to yourself that it was a little too clean? Ah, yeah. I did not know that, so I didn't know that it was the too little blood. Do you still wish to claim that Officer Meek has committed the murder here? Because this isn't the crime scene, and if it was your man who led you to think it was, then I should just leave this case to the local police and set the record straight. Ah. <laughs> not bad. I see a lot of chemistry just as sound as mine. Thank you, let me ask you this. Don't you think it's weird that Officer was hanging out around here in the first place? Weird? How so? <laughs> hey you! This was not even supposed to be in this area, right? What were you doing not letting a deuce and loafing around here? Uh, I... Don't you dare give me some lame excuse like I found myself taking a walk. No oh, sir, I mean to take a walk sir! You're a disgrace. How dare I take a pack of obligation so lightly? Officer Meek is looking extra weak. Is he hiding something? Is that right? Please, sir! Save! We were waiting earlier. Please, sir! Officer Meek, please give us a detailed account of what happened. Sir! Not you too! It's true, sir! I was assigned to this area, sir. I was going to check out these crimes of the main gate area, sir. I was going to look for the kid that was my silly dreams and the blue back to me, sir. Ah, I got completely cut off in my wall. I ain't into the children, sir. Before I knew that I found myself here in this area, sir. 
What is this blue badger mobile? There's a moving stone wheel that says sweet trees and version I sell. The blue badger mobile is just a warming souvenir shop. <laughs> so, I saw what chance we can never tell while I was being a good tree merchant. He seems well worked up. Even more than his usual hyperactive self. He sure seems he seems he sure seems sure of what he's saying. Shush, 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 shush. Can you try to calm down and lower your voice to a more reasonable level, officer? Sir! Watch this, sir! <laughs> yes, sir, sir! I wasn't trying to examine you, sir! Hold it! Alright then, where were you assigned to? I was not to main gate, sir! You must meet the area of the bridge and the outrageous fountain. Okay, then why in the wild, wild west area? That's because, that's because of a very deep reason, ma'am. I thought you gave me scratch of the main gate area, sir. Hold it! Describe for me how I conducted your investigation. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a bit too much. They were not supposed to look at me in the area, sir. Ah, you're not even seem to come around me. Where did it go, sir? I want to explain when you dress like a blue badger. I thought I had no choice at this point, sir, so. I was not looking for the kid that was selling trees to him in a blue badger mobile, sir. So. Hold it! <laughs> what are you, do you mean by selling dreams? Sir, the blue badger mobile is where dreams are collected. Um, what? Dreams is like you've never known it has a dreams, man. Like, innocence drops. I'm feeling this for only night, but now I'm like guilty job boy, cuz the thing was that I put him to bed for being long as my soul duty man. But I'm completely caught up in my wall, saying this to my children, sir. Hold it! You completely forgot to look for the kidnappers? No, sir, of course not, sir. I, I will never do so when I'm at, sir. Ah. You'll be fine, I'm just a little man, sir. I'm better at selling kids a few small dreams than looking for a big crook, sir. Hold it. Enough worrying your own self pity. Let's return to your testimony. Yeah, sir. Before I knew it, I found myself in this area, sir. Hold it. How did you wind up all the way over here? I was a man of a sea of kids, sir. One of, the, one of the kids is there to challenge me into a fight, sir. I had to run away from a child's painful drop kicks. And if I knew it. Ah, <laughs> me good old drop kick. I touched on my fair share for some hours as a kid. I was always the best when you fall one really connect with your opponent. In any case, you would up here for a reason completely unrelated to investigation. Sir! That's right, sir. Well, that's not something you should be admitting to with just your hair tells high officer. Sounds like you simply forgot what his real job and became a blue badger. But if there's one flaw in Officer Meekins' story, I have a feeling that he needs some prodding before he spills the beans. Hmm. I wonder. Ahem. <clears throat> what do we even have? Mobile shop on three wheels. Was parked inside the Wild Wild West garage. Actually, yeah. Hold on. Oh, they changed that. I was selling this in the Blue Badger Mobile. Is this what this is about? Because the Blue Badger Mobile is still here? Objection. Yeah. Officer Mikis, I would appreciate if you didn't tell such transparent lies. No, I'm lying, sir. Yes, you are. You really are the same beans of a blue badge for me until recently. And what is it doing here inside the garage? Ah! Actually, I just lost track, sir. Lost track of what? I told you, yes, the blue badge for me was all good. Nobody told me to do sir. Which would mean it was perhaps stolen. 
And when I came back to his area, thinking maybe it wasn't a garage, sir. Nothing you found me, etc., sir. So. A likely story. Who do you think is going to buy such a convenient tennis fan? Well, it's not exactly so convenient about the story. The car getting stolen is completely unbelievable, even for a cover story. But I think we can assume we cover series our way. <laughs> Do with a dead body. <laughs> you could evict him at some distant location, Officer Meekins. I need to use the blue badge and we need to transport it all the way here. Now then, you're coming with me. It was me, sir, the killer, sir. It was me, sir. Agent Lang, wait. Mm, what do you want now? We still don't know where the wheel is enough for crime is. You can't tell me no other facts of this case, let alone the truth. I told you, truth, move, I couldn't care less. Our job is to catch the crook. To find out if you put precious tube out of the US, this guy and take him in. That's the job of your prosecutors and your fancy courts with your logic. As far as we don't have a kind of time to waste. You're bored, buffoon. I think you need to leave. What? We need to get the body to autopsy and you guys are getting in the way. You, you interfere with another one of my investigations? Hey now, let's not forget to host the actual authority to conduct investigations here. <sighs> I'm afraid the one doing the interrupting is you, my ignorant little pretty boy. <laughs> oh. Now be, no be a good fancy boy get out of my sight. If you don't... I'll wait for obstruction of justice! How can this foolish, lowly human go up against a literal god? How is he this powerful? That's because I'm like Hercules, dude! To be continued... And this will indeed be continued another time. This was a good one today. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs>